So let's continue. Crash aside. Is there multiple keys using the same hotkey? Nope. It's very simple. I have a switch deck. It chooses the scene. That's it. I could not make it more simple. <laughs> Just, I have nothing complicated with it at all with that one. So anyway, um, I guess if enough people are here, since people have been probably lingering for a bit, do you want to do a warm up respective tomorrow? I would like to level this character. Then we'll talk about what to do. So it looks like the Easter event is still on, fortunately. There we go. The game is now up. We'll give people a moment to join. Switch the songs. Give ourselves a little moment to get started, so apologies for this. So yeah, I'm, I might just have to purge OBS, to be honest with you. This might be the last day you see OBS. Welcome, Shaggy K, for the follow. <laughs> I'm telling you, chat, it has hit the last straw with me. There, like, PSO is one of the lowest requirement games. There is no excuse for the crash. <laughs> it's going to be executed like a boss in a four-man raid. Like, it's, just, it's gone. As soon as the stream ends, it's getting uninstalled, reinstalled. And then I'm going to delete all my scenes and redo what I need. And if it still somehow airs out after that, I'm going to throw my hands in the air. So we're looking to see if there's a fourth person looking to hop in. With only Humar, this is going to be very difficult. <laughs> warn you. I don't mind doing this, but I'm warning you the difficulty is going to be much higher than you would like. I'm going to buy a safety mount of mates in case I have to do this run. Like, we're fine, ironically, for Olga Flow. It's the other bosses that are going to be really bad. The uh, Gal Griffin is going to be real nasty for the group. Is it worth bringing Savitri? If there's nobody bringing in buffs, it might be. I will free you, I will free you from the bank with your 0% synchro. So we'll give chat another minute or so, and then we'll continue. I'm gonna check one thing. So we ended at 89 photon drops, 86 event eggs. Not bad. So yeah, Dango, I got the Metello ghost speech. Maybe we'll clip some of the Bomberman speech. Sadly, I don't remember what game that was. I would have to go back. I don't think it was quite in the order that was listed online. It was somewhere between Bomberman, the second attack, and Jetters. That I know, but I don't know which one it was that we were listening to at the time. If I have YouTube show me the history, maybe I'll find it faster. Okay, so it looks like potentially no one else is joining us, which is fine. I'm scrolling through my history currently. Hmm. 
I don't know which game that was for, sadly. I would have to go back and review the VOD. Perfect mayhem. Well, thank you, Tiggy. Hope you're doing well. Did you want to hop in an RT, Tiggy? I was attempting to determine a song that we played the other day before we got too much further. I don't think it was Bomberman Party. The problem is that it just says like track one, track two, track three. Oh, I'm gonna have to go through it real slow later. That's unfortunate. No, we don't have a fourth Tiggy. I believe in Dango to help me find it later. <laughs> I just need to know specifically what song it was that we're listening to, and then I can pick it out. Because I think I generally stated whenever we switch games. So if I knew what game it was, I could find it real quick. The problem is that it played through like 250 videos yesterday. That's the problem, it's not a general- oh, you mean like the literal general list. Uh, yeah, I could send you the one I'm looking at. I'm in the top part of the list. The problem, as I said before, is that there's a lot of Bomberman games. I'm pretty sure it's after Bomberman 64. Because it was definitely not the Bomberman 64 soundtrack. Okay, so Tiggy will fill in for the fourth character. I know it cannot be anything... If I had to narrow it down, it's, it's potentially... It could be Bomberman the second attack. I don't think it's Bomberman Online. It could be Generation. I don't think it was Jetters. And it's definitely not online for sure. Or Net the Bomberman. Move it forward a song. <clears throat> Ooh, funky music. But if Tiggy's there, I'll just go back to Nidra. But I should probably feed this thing. It's been starving in my bank for eons. Oh, I have a dye fluid in my inventory for some reason. Let's sell that. So we, our goal is to burn all of our monomates or discard them if we find anything interesting. What am I looking for? A Bomberman song. That's not a song. It was like the outro of one of them. We were listening to it the other day. We were making fun of it, if you recall. Did he use his bombs for good or for evil? No one will ever really know. Yeah, I'll t I'll, I might have to check the VOD later when I'm uninstalling OBS. So I'm gonna try a fresh install. Hopefully that'll fix it tomorrow. I think it was Bomberman Attack. Let me look at the list before we go too much further. Bomberman Attack. Where is that even on the list? I don't... I don't have anything there? I, I don't even know what that is, Tiggy. That's not even on the list. But anyway, I think we're good to go here. Back to PSO. Tangent aside. Oh, maybe second attack. Maybe. It's a strong possibility. I know it was distinctly after Bomberman 64, but before Bomberman Online. So I know it's within five games. <laughs> I just have to look in the history. The problem, as I said before, is that the uh, soundtracks were not marked properly. So it's literally just as like track one, track two. So even then, I'm probably going to have to dig, depending on which game it is. 
We'll listen to that cheesy line together to confirm. Rip these enemies, though. Yeah, so the goal is for this character hit 180, then they're going to be able to use Red Ring. I guess I technically could have brought Red Ring with me. But I'd rather just finish the run as is, I guess. Think he says he's lagging like crazy? Oh no. Uh oh, I'm the only one over here. I just wanted the box check. Just wanted the box check. Okay, there we go. Hang in there, Tiggy. So yeah, second attack definitely falls in that list range. So there's a very strong possibility that is correct. My only comment about second attack was, wait a minute, how many of them were on the 64? Because I saw it was like Bomberman Hero, which I thought was the sequel to Bomberman 64, but I'm like, no, wait, there's another one still. Wait, I don't remember there being three. Oh, chat's not going back for the Rappies. Chat, you gotta, you gotta hit the Rappies. You're leaving those egg chances behind. Parish Rappy. Got the Rappy that time. Rip Muffist. Chat ignoring the Rappy. You guys are trolling. Those, those are Easter egg chances as a reminder. Please do them. I mean, I can maybe hit them with like lingering fire trap, but generally I'm not the person that will do it. Unless I'm like cleaning up if they're escaping mid battle or something. Oh, uh, sorry to hear, Tiggy. Hopefully a restart fixes it. I was gonna say, you might be saying goodbye to OBS tonight, chat. <laughs> I've, I've had enough of it crashing for no reason at the beginning of streams. I'm gonna look into potentially downgrading OBS as well. And honestly, haven't really been thrilled with the stream element update either. So unless I see something that they're working on something. Ooh, nice 3084. I might have to just uninstall stream elements. I really, really don't like their latest update. It's very bad. I think they, I think like the, the streamer nag thing is that I have an option called view view count and I hit it to yes and every single time without fail, it fails to load and I have to set yes again and save it again. It's like actually mind boggling. Yeah, and they also made it much more annoying to get the uh, Ziggledy God in there. So now I have to like log into the site, but then like logging in that way causes me to have to log out of a browser to log back in. It's very awkward. Oh, oops, actually, wrong corner. Oh, uh, actually, this will be fun. Yeah, I could do it from this corner. I want to be over here. Yeah, I want to go to this corner now. Ooh, missed it because it went too far to the side. That's unfortunate. See, so after this boss, we'll switch the song. We're landing some good hits here.
Nice job, team. Pause that. Next song. Uh, I'm a little off, but I think this is fun. Easily view the history. Oh, I'll get enough an another opportunity soon. Actually, I lined up more than I thought I did. Oh, huh. that's convenient. Oops. I have a bad habit of double tapping on warps. I should not do that with Bazooka. Leave in you chat. So, yeah, so this is apparently one of the many versions of Bomber Band Live, which unfortunately did not see until I scrolled much further down in the list. Nice event, eh? That was such a beautiful multi-purpose freeze trap. I'm so proud of that chat. I bazookaed the, the trap, which was close enough to hit the switch. Mmm. Efficiency. <laughs> a little out of range of that one, sadly. boss battle. Maybe that was the song it was in? Ooh, I only hit once? Oh, okay, there we go. I was like, come on, Kenneth, she can hit more than one part on the dragon when I shoot you. Come on. Anyway, let's pause this music. Is it this? Nice level up. <laughs> Did you get an event egg from the boss? <laughs> kind of funny. The dragon egg, yeah, it is. I don't think I've had that happen yet, getting an event egg from a boss. No, this is more like ambiance. I was expecting dialogue. That's the downside, not all these tracks are labeled correctly. So we're gonna play a guessing game. So it's not that soundtrack. Pause. Search. Uh, reunions and farewells? Uh, 
Because this should be the order that I listen to it in. I don't see what else it would be. Rip Tiggy. Hmm. Not hearing a narrator, but at least it's still Bomberman music. I'm like 99% certain it was a Bomberman 64. But I can't think of what else would have vocals. It sounded kind of clean. So maybe it wasn't a 64 game. I don't usually think clean vocal lines when I think 64. I'm going to check the GameCube one that's after this. That's what my thought process is. I, I don't believe in the 64 having like human sounding sound effects. Sorry, Nintendo 64, I have no faith in you. So if I had to guess which one it was... Uh, could, be, could be Bomberman Generation. I'll do the Hell Cleave check and then wait for the team as I search for the music. Oh, never mind. Tiggy's doing the health leave check. I gotta be responsible now. Yeah, like, I would imagine it was either a Dreamcast or a GameCube game. I, I just can't envision the vocal line coming from a 64. So I'm just gonna rule that out. It's definitely not Nintendo, definitely not Super Nintendo. I don't think it was PC only. I'm ruling those out. Or at least we could have serene music question mark as we destroy all the Merlas. This is where we slowly realize that man is the monster slash the mechs are the monster as we destroy an entire ecosystem just because. We don't even bother collecting the boxes that we've left behind from all the all the trash that we dump onto this planet. But no, we'll kill all the geese. Truly, we were the Olga Flow, the final boss all along. Take that, natural beauty. Ooh, Generations is one solid soundtrack. Maybe it was this? Tiggy reducing that HP. I respect it. Because I think they were talking about the bomb elements, right? Was that I think that might have been the same thing? And this is how the bomb elements okay. were once again scattered into the far reaches of the universe. Now, whether this was their doing. There we go, yeah, this is it. There was no way for us to tell. There's no way, chat. There are infinite mysteries in this universe. Which we will never be able to solve. Whether the power of the bomb elements was of justice or of evil is an answer that may be determined by the way we handle our own hearts and souls. There you go, chat. We gotta handle our own hearts and souls for it. There we go. Mystery solved. 
I so I had a solid guess. I believe that the 64 was too terrible at voice lines. <laughs> I just I picked the next immediate GameCube game. There we go. Figured it out. Mystery over. Let's see. Let's go back to some soundtracks. So we finished the Bomberman Live Battle Fest. Let's listen to the real Bomberman Live. I like how I didn't even bother to look up. I knew in my heart there was no Galatine chat. Just want you to know. Deep down, I'm like, there's no way. I don't believe. This time I don't have like the 10 hour cut or whatever of the soundtrack. So I should not have to manually advance this. It lasts about 28 minutes, which is a little shy of an RT run. So it's not a very long soundtrack either way. Jokes on you, I put my free strap down already. That Rico trolled me though. Um Where is it? Oh, I was gonna say teleport it again. I killed one of them. I'm gonna do a diamate usage there. Killed you. Yeah, we do a little trick to not look at the Morphos. I think that went okay. So I did get Mag Blast. That means I don't have a... Oh, I do have a button for Monomate. I did not know that. I must have set that up and forgotten about that. I guess I could use that button. Don't think I've ever done it before. Interesting. I mean, I probably want my stronger healing there over Monomate, but at least I have a button to use it, I guess. I very rarely bring Monomate with me, but Star Animizers, Trimates, I do usually carry. Especially if I'm doing Episode 2. I end up with like a million Star Animizers due to the chests. Having a full heal is kind of nice. Darn those wacky zany bomb elements chat. Yeah, what made that one hard too is that it was one solid soundtrack, so I'm like, I'm gonna just look what one of the last songs is. We're gonna guess. Thank you, chat. It did help narrow it down a little. We applied logic and deduction. I do love that one of the deductions in 64 is whack. <laughs> oh. And unfortunately, I think chat was just entering the room. And so instead of coming towards me, it came towards chat. That's unfortunate. I'm let chat clear this up. I have no interest in this room. I love the dark flow into the box. Um, I'll freeze trap, I guess, but I generally don't want to participate in this room. Nice hell gun.
I was so worried I was gonna strip that because I went a little early. Alright, so I'm gonna do the box check. I'm gonna trip the laser because I don't care. Oh, or I dodged it unintentionally. That works. I'm gonna put down a little happy freeze trap for the team. Maybe it'll help. Oh, I actually got both. Nasty. Oh, no box rare. So sad. Okay, let's go full assist mode. Oh, you thought you could teleport on me? Joke's on you. Freeze trap had you already. Fool. I think that's what we also call the checkmate. He teleported next to me when freeze trap was already out. GG. Get outplayed. Let's shoot right about here. Got him. Uh oh, back attack. Mode down. Eat my mana mates. No longer carrying them in case I need to somehow pick up a pair of studies gene flow. So I'm gonna say twins. Make this simple. Okay. So it sounds like everybody knows the role. Let's say using twins. Big donation time. So we're going to go with the optimization of triple Heaven Striker shots, which are probably completely bonkers busted on Romar, since he's more likely to land these than the raw cast. I mean, literally more than a 30% chance, at least on the first one, or by the second one, I mean. So we're going to do this because if our team whiffs at all, uh, it basically does 10% of the boss's health, which is one Heaven Striker. So I'm not going to say no to the free damage. We're going to do it. We're going to go one, two, three. I actually landed it twice there. That works. Right, chat? Optimal. <laughs> Tiggy laughing. I'm the rock has landed it. I don't know how, but I'm happy. It does damage. I have no reason to not go for that every time. It's so dumb. It's hilarious. Let's have fun with that, Tiki, if you ever play Ranger. Heaven Striker, auto aim. Can hit him while he's up there. And then you switch into Charge Vulcan and you get a full combo anyway. It's so unfair. I don't even lose anything from doing it. Goodbye. He survived five hits. Congratulations, Olga Flo. Because I was wondering, because I saw somebody like hit him with like actual damage while he was up there, and I was like, wait a minute, do, do any other attacks work? Sadly, Cannon Rouge doesn't, because that would have also been hilarious. But no, Heaven Striker does. Thank you, Heaven Striker. I also like Heaven Striker when the boss is going around the arena anyway, because I don't feel like chasing the boss. Yeah, I'm like, I landed two sacrifices on Rawcast, and he's, he has no business landing those hits. Also, I gave up a uh, non-special ray gun with 40 hit. Just thought you should all know that and feel sad. Pour one out for the potentially 30 native, 35 dark, 50 hit. That could have been useful. That would have been a nice uh, falls weapon if it was charged ray gun. I'll put away rest of level 30. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I wonder if they're... I do feel like I have like less than like a 30% chance for it to hit like normally based off of how it scales but it, it always seems to hit like I weirdly I'm usually miss the third hit like I missed the third hit but hit the first two hits which statistically doesn't make sense for that to happen that often I should have like a basically 0% chance to hit that first hit but Happens every time. Well, anyway, let's uh put away our ranger wall, which we no longer need. Well, I guess I could show the before and after. This character officially can use a red ring. Uh, he doesn't really need defense. Let's be honest. He's raw cast. So he's already going up potentially 200 with the shift to D ban. But more importantly, those resistances. Look at that chat. Mm. That is that is what we call TTF ready. <laughs> anyway, looking pretty good there. Goodbye, Ranger Ball. Any fun weapons in the store? 40 hit ray gun, no special. So sad. 45 hit striker, useless. So we'll do another one, and then we'll, uh... I want to see the before and after of Red Ring on this character. I do love that he has 2200 defense with our current buffs. I don't think most enemies can hurt him currently. See, so yeah, over a thousand base defense is really good. Although he's Black Hound on. Which I guess doesn't super matter. I don't really want to use 13 with this character. So I guess I could just leave it on him for now. If I wanted better resistances, I'd probably just go for Crimson Coat. So Tiki needs to step out for a moment. Parameter will take the spot. Thank you, Parameter. And then after that chat, if there's something you would like to do as a group, by all means. This is just a bonus stream, so whatever you want to do. Tutorials just happy to level. Look at that, from 89 to 129. You cast putting in the work. Welcome, Murphy. Hope we have a safe drive home. levels in a really short time, indeed. So I'll do slightly more damage with Charge Vulcan, which will be kind of nice. My Heaven Striker is... Oh, my Heaven Striker does have hit percentage. Oh. Oh, so it is almost Romar-esque, I guess. That's nice. He needs it a little more than the Ramar. The Ramar is nice in multiplayer to have it. Single player, he doesn't need it. He's like all zeroed, whatever. Give me that like 60 dark one instead. Doesn't matter. So 
And just small damage increases. Pop these. That took care of the rappies. Nice. Fireball might have popped the boxes. I'm just gonna double check. Nope. <sighs> Good Foley 15. Egg Rappy. Oh, Egg Rappy, don't shoot it. Hold on, I wanna see it. Let's get it on stream. Another Egg Rappy. I'm running in close. Oh, there we go. Look at it go. It's a little goofy egg self. Get murdered. This is the most rare Rappies I have ever seen in any event. <laughs> I mean, I guess we're doing more RT than normal, but that's not a lot of Rappies. Like, overall, we still probably kill like 40 less. Your lucky hell missed, yeah. Rare Rappies, like, ha. Huh. I will go. I will give Easter egg when I feel like it. Let's see. Huge battle fan. Saw Dango using a couple of those. I did get Rabbit Wand earlier. I don't know which one of those, if any, are used in, uh, what's it called? Platings. You gotta walk? Nice. Charge arm is versus machine. Interesting. I just like to think of how many rare Rappies we saw here, and then compare it to how many rare slimes we've seen on stream. Poor TTF. You make 20 slimes, you fight like, what, maybe 12 Rappies? It's like 3 to 1. Just shake your head. Well, I'm a little bit too weak. So that tells me that, uh, if I had dark percentage, it would probably kill. side that makes my cannon rouge is also slightly stronger. I'll take any bonus damage. Ooh, photon draw. I'll take that once we're done with the hill the bears or whatever. Attack this. Funk. Moment of truth. Normal glitched. We've had a we've had a good mix of normal versus glitch. Is it gonna glitch? Oh glitched. Nice. Extra shots for me. Let's go. Why is my rocket hitting the head when I'm looking at the body? I feel like the game is trolling me a little bit with the aiming there, Chad. I don't know about you. I don't think that really makes any sense. I'll be like, Bazooka, please. What are you auto-aiming? Okay, so we're preventing the paralysis thing from happening. We'll take a little bit of damage there, and that's fine. Now we'll aim at the middle. There we go. Now the team won't get paralyzed. So if we do it right, the team doesn't need Cure Paralysis. 
I shot a little too slow. I didn't believe in the snap teleport. How about now? Nope. We're getting delayed again for some reason. I wonder why sometimes it pops up and sometimes it stays under like that. It stops me from getting a lot of hits on the boss when it does that. Really unfortunate. Dead. Might as well hit it for meter, I guess. Poor boss. Thank you again, Murphy, for the good luck. Meant to mention. Okay, lineup Olympics. Ooh, I'm not feeling it. Need to fix the angle. We'll do this. Well, I'm feeling pretty good. I like Dango's position. Dango might have it more centered. I'm worried I'm slightly angled to the right, but I'm not going to fix it. I I'm locking in. Wonder if Okaflow can't evade while descending. Maybe. I mean, I'm definitely going to abuse the fact that Heaven Striker hits that. Ooh. I am slightly angled, but it didn't matter. Nice. Still ended up dead center. Bonk. I believe in you, chat. You could hard carry. <laughs> hard carry me with the hell guns. Yeah, not at max defense, but 1410 is pretty respectable. That is extremely tanky. I mean, maybe we just keep going until Dango gets parasitic gene flow. Ooh, slightly off that time. Needs to take one step back when I shot that to hit both. See, that's my new practice technique. Can I bazooka to hit the fan arms <laughs> and also the switch? I got new things to practice. I'm not entirely sure how the bazooka missed the trap, but I'll take it hitting the switch instead. I'll nod my head on that one. I think that's an acceptable failure. Like, okay. I mean, it hit one of the other two targets. I guess that works. Do the courtesy frozen shooter so team can just burst this thing. Would I even just pick up? Oh, freeze barrier. Oh my gosh, invincibility. I'm gonna hold forward then. The mag has been very kind to me recently. I guess it enjoys being at 120%. It's going back up to like nearly 90% as opposed to barely 20%. Even though it should have been from 50 to 85, but whatever. I feel like I'm too close. I gotta back up. Ooh, there we go. That was a lot of damage just racked up. GG. Heavenly TP is what the boss drops. Seriously. My disappointment is immense, chat. Is this even used in anything other than to get more TP? I don't think so. I feel like the amount of the TP is just not accurate to me. Yeah, 
If it gave like 500 TP, maybe I would care. It's just not a world I think I would ever use it where Adept exists. And that item exists at the same time. Uh-oh. Sounds like we're near the end of the soundtrack. Listen to those victory tunes. Nice of an egg. Get closer to get the Merlis up. Nice job, team. Once they kill that one, it should be. Oh, sorry, there's one more wave. Push them out of range. Awkward. Back to the middle for the Marillas. This is like one of the only waves I remember. There we go. Although sometimes I can confuse the wave prior because there's like two sets of geese that spawn in a similar area. Oh, they are ultra dead. GG. Yeah, usually I have a lot of fun with casts, but I think until maybe middle of last year, I didn't really have a lot of people that ended up playing characters that would support a cast. And or my level wasn't high enough to get away with like raw moral raw cast. But definitely can't say that's true now. Missed by 5 damage, not even with Red Ring. I'm using a uh, charge arm with a uh, machine too, that's the sad part. Mine material drops somewhere. Oh, I see it. On the plus side, normal, normal heavy should kill now consistently. As I wasn't missing it by very much before. Yeah. It's killing more consistently. Rip the soundtrack. Goodbye, Bomberman Live. Guess we'll go to. Bomberman Blast was technically next. I'm sorry, did it say work in progress bomber van soundtrack? What? Okay. Let's see what that is. Oh, question mark. Bomberman on the Wii. Is it a discontinued game? No problem, Toriel. Hopefully you had a good time. I mean, I can't not click on that soundtrack if it's there. How often do you see Work in Progress there instead of an official game name? Nice. Ooh. Was not expecting it to rotate that much, but that's fine. Leave me alone. We got a couple of solid hits. Okay, not enough. I think with the parameter cleaning up, it's pretty good. I'm like, give me Galatine right here. 
Right here. Nope, just Masetta. So that should be weapons. That also should be weapons. Nothing else of interest, I think. I'll pop those for armor. So many trimates and trifluids, but all I've used is dimates, which is really awkward. Then X spawned, excellent. Are you seriously dropping bombs on me again from off screen? That is so rude. Wow. What is it targeting? Why did it target the thing right in front of me, game please? <laughs> what was that auto aim chat? Holy. The enemy was like within literally punching distance and the gun went like at least 45 degrees. Why? Did it really think the other enemy was closer? I would love to know why it did that. That made no sense. Nice event egg. about the freeze trap location. Maybe that'll work. Never mind. Somebody shot it too early, I'm not sure. Alright, we're gonna believe in the freeze trap setup. I'm gonna equip Frozen Shooter in case it doesn't target me here. Actually, I'm gonna wait. Yeah, there we go. Make sure we're synced up a little more. Hide over here. Freeze trap. Did you... Okay, so the, the fireball didn't hit him, that's why I got hit. But Free Trap was there for him if he needed it. Let the team kill these. This room does not interest me. I only have 89 meters, so I do need to get hit again. More likely than not. We'll try to build some meter here. Rip. I put a Freeze Trap down. Put one more freeze trap down while dodging. Still only at 89 meter. That sucks. I was getting out held. Okay, 90 meter. Definitely want nothing to do with the Morphos when people have hell. Do the item check. I'm gonna have to get hit at least four times by the Buzzsaw. Or I have to purposely get hit by Sinnoh at least twice here. Freeze trap detonated already. That's unfortunate. How did I not get targeted there? I need one meter, two meter, I need two meter, I need three. There we go. This is promising. I need four. Ooh, 97. Thank you. Need so little now. Okay. So I think just comboing at this point should do it. 
We'll take that too. Got him. Nice team builder meter. Wins. So we'll switch to Heaven Striker, which technically does more damage. see and parameter brought out the big gun i'm very curious how much this is gonna do as you notice my accuracy is below 80 percent on every shot except for the final one well that time i hit less I think I saw triple crit on that Vulcan. GG. That was brutal. I did almost 5,000. Disgusting. And eventually, if needed, if we need buffs, I can switch back to blue ID. That's how this character has officially earned their red ring. The other character needs to earn theirs. Almost made it to my sixth hit. GG. It's a lot of Olga Flow being murdered. <laughs> it might be drop rate up, but the only thing going up in this place is a uh, boss death rate. GG to Olga Flow. Game is refusing to award Dango. This is so sad. One day Dango will be given the Parasitic Gene Flow. I'll just fall over a couple times. One day you two want jeans that flow, exactly. Yeah, I'm happy with where this character came out. I think this character is a lot of fun at Endless. I could see them doing more Episode 4, especially now that I have the defense upgrade to deal with Gordon Detonator. Go away most of these items for now. Anything worthwhile in here? Bind Disco. No. I just look at the hit percentages real quick and then I pause if it's interesting. Sadly. Mostly not worth. Uh, I guess I'll restock value mates in case I'm doing endless. Sort of inventory. Yeah, nice solid red ring. So I'll switch characters. I think Blue ID is pretty strong. I'm giving up on the Galatine for now. 
we have yellow force runs we could do later if we really want to or team can hard carry me through part of uh episode four and i could delete them with raw cast Yeah, you can see the difference in play hours. There's some characters that have like 20 to 40 and they're like 120. There's some that are like 160, but they have like 200 plus hours. So this is the team where it's like, ooh, I've been putting in the grind. So this is the last character that really needs to level. After that, it's just the Hue cast. So I'll be doing a lot of Sky Runs. Add indeed. If there's somebody that would like to take Toriel's place, let us know. So thank you again, Toriel, for the runs. Hopefully you had a good time. Not gonna bother Dark Flowing for the most part. I could go re-equip, but it'll be fine. As long as I have Vulcans, should be fine. Yeah, 20% AB stun, this should be fine. I think you bring in a heavy hitter. Yeah, I do like the drops on blue ID pretty heavily in RT. I'm use Robo and feel what it feels like forever. Piggy unleashing his true power now. I saw the yellow ID. Maybe this character could get a little boost. One day I would like to feel confident in hunting Astarx as this character. That would be the dream. So far I have not ever felt good doing so. And most of that just has to do with her units. So I'm hoping as she gets closer to max ATP, she'll finally feel nice to use. Maybe we'll do Surface Episode 4 with her in the future. Okay, so I'm in charge of Rappi since I got a Resond. Slash a Gafoe. boxes get but I'll pop them <laughs> apparently HP material which I guess I'll take five hit Jaya oh that's so sad I think even the some of the hand-me-downs I gave tutorial at least they had like 20 hit they could arguably be used on some characters I believe in you, chat. I'm playing a discount force playstyle at the moment. Yeah, right now she's basically as optimal. Oh, my bad. She's basically as optimal as possible. Man, I got Blue Doshi Violet Nemedal, Smart Link, Heavily Power, Centurion Adept. I cannot pump her anymore. My weapons need work, of course, but that's fine. I was hoping for the triple freeze, that would have been so cool.
Nice try, Trap. You were the one that was baited. We're talking about ways that would have made the game- or small improvements that would have made the game more interesting. I think one thing that has always made me sad, things like the, the god techniques and stuff like that, they don't let you go past the normal technique limit. Can you imagine if somebody actually just like r ran around with like the level 4 ups, put 4 on a character and cast like as like a hue neural, like a level 32 shift to D-band? Can you imagine? Like, hold on, I'm support Q new rule. Ah, pop its head open. Survive. Nicely done from the team. Shoot at it in my defense. Slightly too slow. Ooh. Team did so much damage. I barely had to do anything with Jaya. Ranger OP. corrected the angle. Might be a little too far to the right. I like Tiggy's position a little more. Bummer and Bless winter music. I don't know about that yet. Ooh, Dango probably is the closest. Like in Dango's position. They're cheering us for the lineup Olympics. center. I think D Dango wins on this one. Good job, Dango. Tried to get it close, at least. The, the cheers are for you, Dango. <laughs> Goodbye, Bomberman Blast. So what is this alleged... Bomberman Wii soundtrack from. Trying so hard to catch up. That is the downside about this quest. Not being able to like telepipe to your teammates is brutal. Even fall slightly behind GG. Rise is found Hanga Mila after defeating Talo. Nice. Nice. 
Nice, I'm stun locking with Last Swan, GG. I do like Last Swan versus Brands. So it makes them not able to do anything. Speaking of not able to do anything, what's my Synchro looking like? Ooh. Little rough. I'm gonna try to fix the Synchro a little bit, but no hopes, no promises. Yeah, I tried. And get Parameter for the buffs. out sadly just getting hard zoned ah, it did okay damage bonk I don't care about those. Here for the team. Just immediate event egg, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with the stack of PDs that I have. I'm gonna immediately convert it or save it for uh, challenge mode. So I think I have four stacks of 99 saved already. I feel like this event in particular, by just grinding it out, has resulted in probably about 80 total PDs across the month. I don't feel like that's an exaggeration. Like, we really did make a lot. Like, at one point I put away over 50, and then we're back up to 88, and I gave away 21 in a trade, and we're still back up to 90. So, yeah. Feels like a lot of progress. Oof. I forgot she can whiff normals on this thing. It's gonna feel so good when she gets red ring. She needs that accuracy so bad. Although, arguably for uh, just Forest, Kasami Bracer might just be better. Where I don't need the accuracy. But for everything else, I think I prefer that accuracy. got an opportunity to attack. Felt happy. It was a fleeting moment. <laughs> Sniped. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll do... Oh, let's go with Tiggy. Yeah, there we go. I mean, if this is a V501, I'm gonna be very happy. Don't get me wrong. Be quite something. Blue ID, I believe, does get it there, so I might as well do the check. Ooh. I see Dango going that way. Is Dango picking up something fun? And then Dan goes like, so I picked up a 70 hit caliber. I'm just, I'm just it's like, I had a feeling. It's, eh. You'll find better in, sadly, uh, Restless Lion.
Yeah, you should give him Restless Line stuff, though. I, I don't think that's worth using, sadly. It's one of those things where having a 50... 50 Dark, 50 Hit, 50 Abyss, or even 50 Native would be pretty disgusting. Although I do like Machine. Okay, so we're gonna try to Zalur. That way we can help the Rangers out by pretending we do damage. I mean, last one might hit this target a couple times, maybe. I'm so dead. Uh, I, I got really pinned there. I couldn't figure out where to move to dodge it. Because I was like technically at the edge of the arena already. I tried up and down and neither worked. And I'm like, I think I'm just dead. I think I just got straight up pinned against the wall. GG. Yeah, do you like that RT has like a decent chance of giving you 50 hits? Just due to the fact that episode 2 is just generally harder. And the box rares are good. I just wish that Seabed Olgaflow gave you an item. Not sure why they chose not to put boxes there. It's kind of disappointing. It's like, is that the only real boss that we fight where we just get zero chests? It's just Olgaflow? Olgaflow kind of sucks. better items to feed my mag. i fix that later. Oh, I should have gone back for that star animizer, actually. That's exactly what I was looking for. Oh well, too late now. had a heart attack. 45 hit striker. Oh no. Oh, my bad. I'll keep the team alive. Imperial pick. There we go. Let's see if I can stop the Del Beater from charging. Nice. Stopped it. Bonk. Nice photon draw. Sadly, Night Psycho want. <laughs> that is what uh, Del Beater potentially drops, as an FYI. That one's always going to be the heartbreaker, though. Yeah, my meter gain is mediocre, mostly because I didn't get a good chance to hit Gal Griffin. I think Worm Boss I did okay. So I might just end up donating to the two Rangers. See, we're playing blue ID to trick the game, so that way it'll give Dango the parasitic gene flow. This is definitely the longest I've ever gone without seeing a PSG in the party. 
we're on almost 20 games in a row. No Parasite Gene Flood for anybody. Which defies the one in 64. If you consider that each person rolls it. So the, 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 the one in 20 times four. A little surprising somebody didn't get it. Not surprising I didn't get it. Just more surprising somebody didn't get it. Unfortunate, really. So it would have been nice. One day it'll be like Toriel joins, Dango joins, Tiggy joins. Just boom, three parasitic gene flows. The game will go, thank you for your service. Like, you be free now. Uh, I'll go pick up that mono grinder actually. I think it's sometimes worth this check. It's a little bit out of the way, but they more often than more often than not are weapons. I mean, it is lower seabed too. Ripping parameter. Yeah, I don't think it's worth waiting for me. Only at 83. Yeah, and I don't build that much here. Ooh, Tiggy only at 59, though. See, that's the downside. I think we're witnessing the downside to hell. Yeah, see, nobody has it. Ex well, I have the most meter? Wow. Yeah, this... I See, I think I might actually advocate not to use hell on RT. I think it actually takes longer. If everybody does it. Because if somebody was just using uh, ATP, this we wouldn't need to do this. Yeah. I mean, now I'm at max meter. I don't know how I, as the hunter, got more meter than people. I guess if you're always using hell, you never build up on attacks. So I, I guess that's proof. I out-metered rangers, which should never happen. And even for me, I would have considered it a time waste. So yeah, maybe there's certain rooms you do hell. Like, spaceship is probably worth helling. Maybe the bees are not actually worth helling. Just so that you end up getting like 12 or 14 more meter to avoid this. Is there? It's not super, super slow. Unless you have like hell shotgun. Then it makes a difference. Anyway, I'm going to use twins. So all, all that speed, yet we got here basically at the same time as the other party, because we didn't wait. <laughs> That's too funny to me. Like, we were here like sub-20. I just don't think it would be necessarily worth it. If one of us had it, it would have been fine. So maybe there's like a designated ranger who doesn't use hell. The other person does. Maybe that's what the strategy is. Time for some Heaven Strikers. Plus one should do okay here, although arguably I should charge arm. Guess I have some time to swap it maybe without it impacting anything. Let's go for it. There we go. Thank you, Charge Vulcan. This character is only a couple RTs away from leveling. So we did eventually get a Galatine from RT. So Yellow ID did pay off a little bit. We got that random ad slot, which also kind of paid off, because I did actually need that to complete uh, an armor set, which was useful because it led to a 13. Poor Oka Flow. GG.
I mean, granted, it's not rare item week this week that we're doing it, but still. I'm checking low on the ground. I'm like, where's the PSG for Django? Is it under this box? Hell too good, yeah. It, I mean, we did get there a minute faster, but then we lost like a minute and a half charging on the box. Oh, somebody got it. Who got it? Hey, Tiki got it. Tiki too powerful. Good job, Tiggy. Farm him, Tiggy. So the ID switch paid off, apparently. And then Tiggy's like, what do I even do with this? <laughs> Tiggy get, now contemplates life. Uh, indeed from Blue Donna, exactly. of Ferris in a G Plum Magnet. Well, we finally broke the streak, because it's simple four. Like, it was just, it was very weird to me we went beyond one in 64. Like, granted, we saw it more often than not because we're doing it on Rare Week. Don't get me wrong, that definitely influenced it. But even from like a statistical average, someone should have gotten it. So there we go, but now, now we're back on track. Speaking of which, what is the forecast? Horses, droids, males, oof. That is a big oof for this character. I was gonna say, yeah, just, <laughs> just, just, just use Focast. Oh, uh, duh. <laughs> Get all three. <laughs> Gotta play PSO2 for that. Yeah, check. True. This will be a level up for her. She's getting close to max ATP. MST is slowly going up. All this will help me with unlocks later when I want to do the split games. Yeah, I want to see the difference. I think what also makes a difference is Hell Ray Gun versus Hell Shotgun. Because I think the clear speed of the Hell Shotgun is like still good. Because I'm like, there's no way my Hunu roll should out uh, meter anybody. I barely got hit at all. Like, Tornado built me a little bit, but like, it. We saw, like, comparatively with the raw cast, he was sitting at uh, 100 meter well before that area. Oh, Dango going for a Jaya. Wonder how much a percentage that has. There we go. Yeah, I mean, unless we really just want to fight Ogo Flow without buffs, then like maybe it would time out to be beneficial, maybe. So six meter. Try to kill some of the pygmies for extra meter. Discharge get PB, nope. It's okay to use it. At least if you're hitting with like normals, it's fine. 
See, I build so much meter because I'm using less swan. It just doesn't matter. Like I, I don't need I don't even bother using charge weapons until we were doing the bees. And even the bees, I don't use them. I technically use a charge Vulcan, but use its accuracy. Which is funny. I don't actually special with it. I just need the multi-hit. Yeah, the some like at 10 meter. So if team wants to like compare. Me with last swan, I'm at 10 meter. Hit <laughs> zero with hell, that makes sense. I'm just gonna dodge the traps by rubbing against the wall. Don't feel like dealing with these. I might set this trap off on purpose. Because, like, where I fall, but, like, I get really far ahead when it comes to, like, room clear. And then I fall really far behind. Oh, I don't have any soul atomizers, GG. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, I forgot I never restocked. Oops. I need to do that later. So, like, I get really far ahead in the room clear, because all I do is just rapid ATP. Maybe that's, like, the hidden benefit of just using Glass Swan over the other guns. It matters in some runs, but not others. Sixteen meter. Definitely want to get that moon atomizer for later. Wait, did I restock? I just forgot to buy souls. Okay, that's fair. Let's fix our synchro slightly. So yeah, I'm at 16, but bu but basically rangers can get like crazy far ahead with bazooka here. Like this could easily be like 20 if you aim well. Ooh, glitch. More opportunities to hit. So I'm gonna try to hit the tail for more meter. 17, I'm gonna try to debuff the head. So I'm not focusing on damage. So this is where I'm going to fall behind. Welcome home, Murphy. Took a little damage there. That's actually good for me. 20 meter. So I'm going to hide in the corner. Yeah, see, like... <laughs> Rangers can make it up a little bit. I can make up a little bit shooting these things, but it's not going to happen very often that I get something useful. Getting hit here is actually good for me, because it builds meter. I might actually get hit on purpose here more. I'll kill a couple of those. We'll get a couple pot shots maybe here. Not one pot shot. So yeah, 27 meter. I chose not to use the uh, charge from Jaya since the team was DPSing it out of existence. Uh, don't need any of these. So yeah, we got in there around the 19 minute mark, but then we didn't do anything until the 20 minute 40 second mark. So it's just kind of like, see how it goes. I think I'm too far over. But I'm not going to correct it. I I'm locking in on the lineup Olympics. Yeah, I like Dango's position more. I think Dango's going to win. Ooh! <laughs> Damn, I'm the odd one out. That feels awkward, but that's fine. I'm committing. Oh, I, I re-angle by accident using Shifta. That's so sad. I disqualified myself. I'm the I'm in unanimous last place there. And I guess I'll shoot these, but I'm not gonna get a lot of meter. Th this is where like no meter gain is here. I think this is where hell is fine. It just you know maybe you'll bazooka a switch maybe. I kind of want that star animizer actually. Fix synchro with that later. Like, the only thing you could really arguably ATP is the Barans. Otherwise, like, you might get a cheeky shot. Oh, 
Oh, I'm really far behind. Yeah, I was gonna say. Jakey has a big opportunity to catch up here. I think the thing is, just like single target damage just builds it so fast. Might as well just build meter here. I got nothing better to do. Yes, a 30. Yeah, Dragon Boss, I'm gonna fall behind because I need to I need to use charge to make sure the boss dies. And Rangers will get a big advantage if it goes airborne. Yeah, otherwise this is the only enemy where ATP really makes sense. I think it's okay to hell throughout this entire place, just for speed purposes. Yeah, I'm gonna see before and after the geese. So try to remember what you were before the geese versus after the geese. Because I feel like you really lose very little time with Last Swan on the geese. It makes more of a difference if you're shotgun helling, I guess. But if you're just using Hell Ray Gun, for example. I don't think you lose that much time. Speaking of getting trolled and losing time. Thanks, Gold Dragon. Glad you decided that I'm not gonna build meter today. Okay, we're gonna switch the charge Vulcan here. I think getting hit by the dragon on purpose here is also pretty big. Because that's like six meter. So I'm up to 38 now. So I think getting hit on purpose here is actually good to save time later. I mean, it's gonna fall anyway. Nothing interesting in boxes. Alright, so I entered with 38 meter. Let's see how much the geese give me. Downside, she whips a ton. So yeah, you can see I'm almost double the meter compared to Imperimeter. Downside, this is slow mostly for me because I keep whiffing less swan. Once I get red, s red ring, I'm going to end up doing very minimal time loss. So I think it'd be more accurate to use Vulcans here to land hits. Yeah. Let me do that so I don't miss my normals. So sadly, this is one one place where I just can't use Last Swan repeatedly. Let's see, I'm already at 48 meter. If I do the Hell Cleave check, I'll get less meter than other people. Yeah, 49. The sad part is I'm not going to get anything in Galgriffin, so I'll probably hit it like 68 if I had to guess. I'm allowed to get some solid shots in. So I build about 2 meter per target. 1 in 0.5 or something. See Tiggy sniping. Mm hmm. There we go. I feel with Vulcans, it's so fast anyway. If all I'm doing is like normal, sp I guess if you're doing nothing but special fan gun, it might be faster. Be three meter. I was gonna say Tiki, I'm surprised you're just not using normal heavy heavy. Well, can't you use charge Vulcans, Tiki, or do you not carry charge Vulcans? Because I, I actually can't use less one here. That's why I ask. Yeah, because it offers the accuracy you need. You should be able to kill. Ooh. Oh, my accuracy is so bad. 
Also, I realize nobody came in with me. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, 61 meter. But sadly, I'm not fighting geese anymore. Might end at like 66 then. If I can't get outside in time. Might actually get hit on purpose here. Can you hit me for like real damage real quick? Yeah. Kill me some meter. That's fine. I think the thing is, most of the time, if if I'm waiting for them to spawn anyway, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to be at 66 meter, which is okay. But keep in mind, I also wasn't fighting Geese. I did cheat a little bit by getting hit on purpose. But you know what? I think that's a valid strat, <laughs> honestly. If, if, if it didn't slow the group clear that much, because I would be in there anyway, it doesn't really matter. Like, what, what I would have done, killed like a extra Gi? I think taking the hit was worth it. Got this lore. So this is the chance for a lot of meter gain. This is where Tiki should pass me just straight up. It should be zero contest. He should have more after this. Unless I get hit by tornado on purpose or something. Which is kind of tempting. I don't have Solanomizers. Awkward. Yeah, so I only ended up at uh, 69%. I mean, that's about where I thought I would be. My aim pad says Tiggy. Nice level up, finally. So I need to get hit by Delp Eaters and Sinnohs a couple times, and then I should be good. Seventy-one meter. Should switch back to Vulcan, maybe. Most of these enemies are pretty close range. So I do need to get hit by the Sinnoh a couple times. Yeah, that's a downside. I really don't contribute to the Gal Griffin fight, so I just fall really far behind without using Dark Flow. I'm getting hit on purpose by other shenanigans. The Rico boxes potentially add a lot of meter too. It's kind of nice. Each one I think is about 3% to kill. some meter on these things. 78 is not too bad. 79. 81's okay. Oh, Tiki got the switch this time. I did forget it last time, to be fair. one percent is not too bad. So I'm like, I'm pretty close as a hunter. I think I'll get hit on purpose here for meter. Where are those initial enemies? We could build meter on the recons. I'll wait for the team. And I'll probably rebuff. Okay. So potentially Del Beater could give a lot of meter. Why why did he spawn so fast? Did somebody step in the room or something? Well, I'm now at 91 meter, so I'm in a pretty good position. I'm gonna shoot this a couple times just to build some meter. 
<laughs> Honestly, yeah, I'm just gonna keep shooting. Ooh, that's so much meter. So now I'm good. I actually have all my meter. 40 hit Vulcan, no special. That's so sad. Goodbye HP material. So now I don't need to do anything. So now I can let the team get ATP. And or hell kill everything. I don't need any more. I should be good. I'll assist a little bit with long range shots. But killing those recons, for example, is like a meter and a half, two meter. 99. Well, I was so killed. I was so good at building meter this time. So I think getting punched in the face in the health lead route definitely saves me some meter. Maybe that's the secret if people are low on meter. <laughs> Just get punched by Sinnoh. I believe in you, team. So we got there at around 19 minutes, 30 seconds. I did a lot better job at hitting targets, mostly because things were not getting held instantly. So I'm curious how much that impacts the overall speed of the run, which is one less person helling. And then leave these rooms to the team that needs meter, like Dango. So I don't need any meter there. Ooh, nothing in there. Sad. There we go. Unfortunate. Well, if I needed that meter, that would have been a free 3%, to be honest. Actually, I'll let Tiggy get the kill. I don't need the meter. So yeah, we didn't really lose that much time. We're coming in at the 19 minute 20 second mark again. But the difference now is I am at max meter. So really it just depends on how off the rest of the chat is after that. Because I got way more meter this time. So I think I can genuinely say it was actually faster not to use hell. Right chat? We didn't have the 20 minute 30 second build up. It actually was straight up faster not to use hell. That is really funny. <laughs> I guess as long as you have two AT three ATP, one hell, it's fine. But two hell, two furious. I think it's good if there's no boss. But I think for RT, I think we just kind of showcased. It was like over a minute difference. And even if I didn't get punched in the face in like the side route, I would have been at like, what, 92 meter and I could have just walked into the chainsaws and not lost any time. Nothing much really changed there. So who would have thought? <laughs> like this is just a genuinely faster run. It's like, okay. It's something. Take that logic. So yeah, this, I think this is the fastest RT, because most of the time it's like 21 minutes we were joining. We're doing it like a whole minute 30 faster. That is really funny. Goodbye. He melt? Yeah, he did melt. Rip Olga flow. See ya! I think that's what we learned. I think one hell is probably good enough. It's worth it, I think, on Morphos all the time. It's worth it on Spaceship, because every enemy is just kind of too far away. But I, I think with the Geese, it's just better not to use hell. We just end up building so much more meter with like very little, like we technically get there maybe like 10 or 15 seconds slower, but the amount of time we build meter is so much higher. 
Yeah, I don't even use it on the... I don't even use it on the squids, I just Vulcan them. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's not even 22 minutes. It's already over. So yeah, like, I think it is useful definitely to hell a little bit. And it's kind of like the person that is helling has kind of committed to themselves that they're not going to be doing the full thing and they're just donating. I like the Gabarda spray. We have the air conditioner going. Not bad for no force, yeah. They can't believe their eyes, you saw it. <laughs> the fan was on full blast, for sure. Okay, buy soul atomizers. Buy soul atomizers. There we go. Let's have Nidra trigger a little more. No 50s of interest. Anything I want in the main bank that I should be using? Really? Got a couple of charge Vulcans of dubious quality. Oh, that's true. I could be using the uh the heart of poem. Vicky says you gain one PV every time you deal 50 times your character level damage. Yeah, it's definitely easier to build meter as lower level characters. I fully agree with that. I should just bring Rika's Claw, just because. Yeah, the way I see it is, is you get higher level. Definitely by the time you get to the point versing the Geese. The Geese end up being about one PD a, or PV a kill. Oh, we're out of the mystery soundtrack. So if nothing else, the lower level players potentially getting PB is kind of huge. There's a lot of people in the block too. So we'll do one more and then we'll mix things up. It's been mostly RT. can officially say. It sounds like the other soundtrack we're just listening to. But it's definitely not the same game. And eating a snack dinner. this flip repeatedly near Dango. Could you imagine if this actually was capable of dodging enemy attacks? <laughs> like, just, just dodge the, the, the swipes or the lasers. Just duck them. I wish so badly that was actually a thing. Thank you for hanging out in Parameter. So it might be Dango Murphy, and if there's anybody else looking to hop in, by all means, more than welcome. I think we'll continue for at least another hour or so. We'll see. So 
sort our inventory. So, yep, once Murphy's here, or potentially another fourth person appears, we'll proceed. Two man RT is interesting. <laughs> I've done it before, I don't recommend it. Welcome, Murphy. So we'll say final call for people looking to hop in. Just let us know in the Twitch chat. Let me buy some mates, no problem. Mm. And maybe after this we'll do... Oh no, something different. Oh, first I forget if we do TTF later, maybe. TTF will end the stream for sure. Yeah, it looks like nobody's here. It's too late night for people. On a Friday, sadly. Because I'm thinking at some point we should probably do episode 4 again. It would be nice. And if needed, I can be a force in episode 4. But if people wanted to play something other than force, just let me know. Because I could potentially join it as Dumpling for the RBR. Have super brain dead clears. Otherwise, I could play Hugh Seal Red. Gotta try force only, no. See, I've done it before though, Tiki. It's okay. I did that, I think, the first time it was an RBR rotation a few months ago. I don't like it more than cast clear, to be honest. I think two force is enough. I don't feel like the third force does anything. Yeah, like, I, I do like two forces in that quest because you can really easy Gavoi stack, and then you just have literally someone just room clearing everything that's strong against fire, and there's a couple of waves that are like that. 136, yeah, that's quite a level. I don't know what other characters Dango has. Technically, we could do three forces. Three forces, one hunter. I don't mind doing that next, potentially. I will miss the traps, because traps are useful. But we'll take Dango as Dango is. I'll switch over to uh, Fonural. Yeah, I think, funny enough, I don't, I don't know if I streamed the Four Forces. I think that's when I was trying to learn the quest. There were like, uh, there were people that would literally post like, bow only in like the title of the quest when people were trying it out or no forces. I would see both of those and I just kind of joined both arbitrarily to see what they were like. Okay, check the items there. We'll give Tiki a break from RT. So this is make or break for Dango. Will Dango finally be rewarded for playing Humar? I think deep down we all know the answer, but we can hope that it will be positive. Don't got much equipment on other classes, but I got a Fomar, Rock Pass, Rock Seal, and Phone Roll. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I was gonna say, for the Force, it's like, if you're Fomar, are you unequipped? Do you have Gafoe merch? <laughs> then you're already set. <laughs> you don't need other equipment where we're going. I think it's not a bad one to get on stream. I actually don't think I streamed the four band forest. I've joined a lot of random ones. Like I know for example, I did a like four force episode four Christmas fiasco. I don't remember if that was on stream. One of them definitely wasn't. Playing Humar is its own reward. Tiggy with a good save there. 
Red Merge, Fire Wand carried you to episode 4. Yeah. I think if you learned a quick menu, the Gafoe, I could do all the other complicated menus. <laughs> If if you learn to just put it here and just rapid cast, what a time save. I cannot stress how much more damage you do when you do that. It's kind of crazy. I've demonstrated it a couple times on stream. At least they make humors look good, question mark. Yes, Dango. You're putting in the work. Nice fireball. Avoiding all the traps. Setting this one off because it's funny. Oops. Misaligned. Devil's Ray Gun. No hit of worthiness. So sad. Nice try, trap. I was already aiming where you were. Checkmate. Not even 1% bamboozled. I think my meter is about the same as it was before. If Tiggy wants to fill in the hell roll, that's fine. Murphy will be the designated donator. Well, this means I can actually do some damage on this phase. Um... Oh, I don't have a slicer. One day you upgrade to Hue Cast. It's when you sell your soul and become the mechanical body. Destroyer of man. I was gonna say, I could see Tango being very happy with freeze traps on Hue Cast. Finally, you have the crowd control you always dreamed of. Popped a couple tiles off. Just stand in the corner. Try to hit the things that will actually damage us. I really like this corner strat for lining things up. It's made this Wrath boss like so much more consistent. If I get clipped by that, it's just kind of a bonus. Go ahead, hit me again. Hi. Uh, build me meter. See if I care about that. greedy there. I should have died. That's fine. More meter for me. The greed. There we go. 33 is okay. Uh-oh. Tiggy leveled. He hits 200 and then the hunt becomes obsolete. There. Ooh, did I angle it too much? Well, I'm worried I did. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the same way, Tiggy. I honestly have not touched my level 200 since I've gotten them. It's just like if I whiff items, it means I literally get nothing out of the thing. So I can't even say, like, oh, at least I got experience. Now it's like, wow, I wish I did this with any other character. Oh, damn, I think I'm barely gonna get it. Oh, barely, barely. I, I did a safety step, but that wasn't needed. So yeah, I'm still gonna put myself in last place for that one. I qualified, but... Definitely angled it too much. Yeah, I'm happy this character even got some additional levels. She fell behind the Hugh Casile, but it was for good cause. So I guess the next level up focus for me will be my Hugh cast. Who I was having fun with. 
I think his big issue is that he just didn't have the right items to be successful in Ultimate. But since then, you know, he's gotten like a 50 hit vice, some potential Excaliburs he could be using, like a 45 hit Jaya. So he, he's definitely much stronger than he was when I first took a break from him. And that's made him feel way better. So honestly, once we get our own Twin Blaze, I think I'm kind of good just to do TTF with him going forward. That's like the only thing really holding him back is his own Twin Blaze. Because otherwise, like single player, he's fine. Multiplayer, it's like, ooh, I need something to slow down the monitors. And he does have a stupid amount of ATP. So if I got like a Twin Blaze with Machine Percentage, that'd be amazing. And I think once the event is over, I can see me doing uh, box runs with him to start the stream instead of TTF. Because if I'm not looking to actively hunt badges or... things of that nature, it just makes more sense. Ooh, getting hit in the face with Barans. We call that bonus points. Nice, I'm at 40 meter. I was gonna say, this is where we all troll Murphy and go, come on, just debuff the boss, it's easy. <laughs> Where's this allure? Yeah, 50 hit charge Vulcans makes this character a little more tolerable. Because her base accuracy is pretty terrible. Whoa, the damage difference didn't even lift off with the force. You know what? I think Tiki made the actually correct play to try to have the dragon land on them. I'm pressing you on the boss. Joke's on you, I'm not even using Dark Flow. <laughs> I don't- I don't find it super useful here. I mean, I guess if the dragon goes airborne, it's helpful. But honestly, the charge Vulcan... So most of the time it's just good- Oh, I left a photo- Oh, photon drop was here. I thought I left a photon drop behind on the other areas. Like, I don't remember seeing it. That explains it. So I ended at, like, 68 meter last time. Let's see how much I get with enhanced shifter on these targets. There we go, 43. Come on, hit me for damage. Oh, So close. Yeah, I definitely have less meter than before. I wonder what the big difference was with where I got meter. Maybe Jaya? Maybe because I didn't hit with Jaya? I mean, would I really have lost like 10 meter for not using Jaya there? And again, we're still pretty early in this area. Here there, Tiki's hell is just too powerful. <sighs> Almost face tanked it. It's your meme good, it's true. Actually, that is kind of true, sadly. It is like we're using two hell here. That is funny. Like, unironically, maybe. <laughs> I'm almost back up to 60 meter. So I was at like, what, 68 after Griffin? But I'll be doing more damage to Griffin since there's less rangers. Maybe this doesn't matter as much? Okay, this is about... Uh, my meter's about on par as before then. I'm at 59. It's not too bad. I'll do the Hell Cleave check, I guess. Ooh, this time I have company. Watch me whiff this rock. Oh, I hit it that time. Feel proud.
All right, so I can't get punched in the face for six meter. Oh, is everybody joining me in here? Hello. In honor of Hellcleave, we did the Hellcleave check. Rid of you. In that case, I should probably be at 70 before the Griffin. Unless a lot of meme get happens. Oh, more like 68. So I'll be at the amount that I was after Gal Griffin, before Gal Griffin. I guess that makes sense. Rip music. Let's see, four meters, pretty good. Full time drop. Yeah, 66 meter already. I didn't even get punched in the face. So close. The meme get actually stole it. Only 66. What a heartbreaker. I'm gonna pause for a second to switch the music. Is that all the music? Uh let's re-listen to generations. We'll we'll go to the spin-off games after this in a moment. Tiki will gain an insane amount of meter compared to the rest of the party. Especially a solo ranger here. Okay. I think if I tornado there is actually pretty good. You know what? I'll take that. I'm a 73 meter. Just don't want to think. Oh. Okay. A little, little less tornado, please. Thank you. All right, so I'm ending at 77. That's pretty good. So I ended up with more meter because of forces here versus another ranger. So I don't need to build as much meter in the later areas. So arguably, I could use hell a bit more to save time. Once I have it. I think we could save a lot of time depending if we take some boxes as ATP. Otherwise, hell's probably better there. Okay, that one's dead. Dango going in. Yes, this is a very, t very tiggy room. I'm just gonna choose not to look at anything. The Rafoe, the boxes. I've still yet to see them ever drop anything useful. I'm gonna build a million meter here, thanks to Zalore. Yeah, 89 meter already, that's crazy. Fifty hit spirit Vulcan's worth it, maybe. I would say for endless, it has a purpose when you need to not damage yourself and not use money. Like genuinely, it just cheeses that entire challenge as long as you bring a tri fluid. Oh, Dango's going on an adventure for it. We salute you, Dango. I'm 
about to take big damage here. Let's avoid that, because I'd rather just keep killing. See, I'm at 97 meters, so now I could just do it efficiently if I want to. More boxes we can grab. Are you talking about the side path? We don't normally go down the side path because the downside is there's no telepipe. So once you go down there, you are like hilariously too far away from the boss. Actually, I should go to the next room. Let's let team hell this. Yeah. That's why people only go there if it's like really, really good. It's not bad to check it, I guess, since you're there, but good luck. So we have about a minute or so to catch up to our other run, but I'm already at max meter. I don't know what the rest of the team is like. I'm going to start using Charge Vulcan for Vulcan's charge ability, actually, versus its accuracy. Hopefully I can get some kills here. That should speed it up a little. So now I'm being more serious with the clear speed now that I have it. I'm going to believe in the team on that one and keep moving. So yeah, depending on the meter of the rest of the chat, this could be super, super good. Here's an example where I could just basically special, 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 because I don't need meter. It's just faster. I'll leave it to them because they have hell. It is worth checking because it potentially drops Yun Chang. I'm going to do the box check. So we're like a little slower. But like not... It, as long as we all have it, it's super good. It's just a fake wall. I have no idea what Dango's talking about. Dango's having his own adventure somewhere. Rip Dango. Rip Murphy. Rip me. How... How did it... How? How and why did it miss the thing that was right in front of me? Game, please. In what world was the recon closer or more aligned than that? Murphy checking the invisible wall. Build the box. Now I just need to kill the Sinnoh. So yeah, definitely this was slower, but also Dango went on a very big adventure, to be fair. <laughs> we we are missing a player. Rip Dango. Never to be seen again. That was faith that that frozen shooter would hit. That was faith. I believed in Diggy. I'm like, you know what? If there's anybody that's going to land that full screen, I believed in Diggy. <laughs> I'm just going to keep walking into it. I'm not gonna- I'm not even gonna remotely try to dodge. Yeah, so this was definitely slower. But I, again, I think it's mostly we lost time in the other room. Because we, uh, we didn't have a fast to no clear. Where is Dango on this map? Let's go look. Holy! Yeah, he's really far away. <laughs> I just- I just look chat. I'm gonna put it this way, you have time. You you could probably build like 30 meter based off the distance. Well, maybe we're like 24 based off the distance. The angles are coming. If the other knowledge was gained. I've never bothered to go down the alternate path. I hope to never, ever, ever in RT have to go take those boxes. It's that wild dango, the wild dango adventure. TM. Oh, we know where Tango is. He's greeting the chainsaw. What's not bad at all? The detour? <laughs>
Oh, oh, to get to the boxes. Yeah, I, I have no idea how to get to those. I'll be real with you. I've never once tried to get to it. I'm assuming there's some hallway connector, but... Yeah, this Allure 30 should be devastating for this boss. And then, uh, yeah, maybe we'll do, like, a couple RBR into a TTF. I'm willing to go at least 40 minutes. Didn't get the burst we're looking for. I think I missed some Vulcan shots. And I don't mean like I miss aimed, I just my accuracy wasn't good enough. It's last one time. Thank you, last one. Yes, yeah, so I'm not guaranteed to land the sacrifice. I didn't really see my big numbers pop up once I did the special. Let's just switch back to Vulcan for more accuracy over last swan. Could you imagine if they allowed us to get like last swan with hit? <laughs> I could actually land my heavy attacks on these characters. It would be like the Fomoral dream. Just like finally. This phase went pretty fast, though. Oh, it crashed! Oh, no! That is so sad. That is so sad. Rip. Well, hopefully team gets something nice. That is so sad. Yeah, right on the boss. I've only had that happen once before. That is so sad. Give me a second. So sad. Uh, well, since I'm here, I might as well check to see if there's any other Bomberman themes. Atomic Punk, also known as Bomber Boy. Does that count as Bomberman? I didn't think it did, but it's on the list, so I might as well listen to it. Rip. I got hell cleaved, it's true. I got ended right on that boss. Um. So I'm gonna log back in, there we go. And we're gonna to, I guess play red force? If you wanna do the oops all force or at least three forces. I mean, for me, I'm gonna be fast menuing. Well, there's something that bothers me now that I see that. Give me one second. Little teeny, teeny adjustment. Just like that magic pixel. That's closer. Need to go to the invisible door, which is by the ramp you came down. There are six more boxes in the room on the other side. Interesting. Ah, so let me switch to C-Bank 3. No, C bank four. And then I'm gonna play a force into RBR. As so I've been playing Huka Seal into it, which I do enjoy. I do like it a lot. Yeah, I got denied. No no parasite gene flow for me. I'm not sure what ID it made the game either, which is unfortunate. It's unfortunate on many levels. I guess if it went to Tiggy, it would have been fun. Although that, I'm not gonna lie, it would be really funny if somebody got default on core. <laughs> Just be like, we got it. Do you have my adips? You don't. Who has my adips? Uh, give me a second. Somebody is something they shouldn't have. 
future runs, I might just run in there, grab a few extra box checks. The problem is, like, if you do that, is the DPS, you fall really, really far behind. Yeah, I'm gonna check my blue phone in. He should at least have a adept. If he has two adepts, that's a problem. I don't mind leaving one on him, but he can't have both if he has two. He definitely has an old Gafoe merge. I thought I removed it from him last time we played. We did not remove it last time we played. Okay, that'll fix it at least. Because last time I tried to get it on him, but I guess I never put it back. So I... Do I need Rafoe merge? I guess I could remove the Rafoe merge there. With multiple forces, it's kind of like... As long as somebody's always Gafoe stacking, the best you could really do to speed it up is to... Spam Rafoe. That was my takeaway from having done it once. Take you can feel free to correct. Yeah, like for me, it's not worth doing because I need to be ahead of the group at all times. So if I'm like eight seconds behind, that's a lot of damage that's not going through there. I would say maybe if I'm the force of the group, if I would maybe do that check. As long as everybody's buffed, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's do the RBR. So she has her Veda one, she's got a Rabarta mirror, she already has Magical Beast Equip. So I just need to go give her the other thing, we should be good. See, now I have three out-ups floating, which is what I want. I guess I could Gafoe stack for the group. I mean, unless somebody else is feeling really comfortable with the fast menuing, I think it's important we have somebody fast menu it. Okay. I think Gafoe is good enough. Murphy is out of range. Yeah, I think there's like, there's like force, but and you. The sad thing is you can't do it while you're in here. But once the quest starts, you could do it. I feel like if you want to just be like super fast at a force. Rafoe, Gazond, Rabarda, Gafoe. So both Foley's, Rabarda, and uh, Gazond, I think are like a good, good four that you should have really fast access to. It's more arguable with simple text. How much you would save in it. Like, that's more of a, I'm speedrunning, like, normal or something. But those other ones are just, like, so crucial. I don't know if this character is set up correctly. I'll find out, though. Let's see, moment of truth. That's okay. I might move Gafoe lower later. Ooh, I'm getting knocked down. That's not good. We'll set up for the Gafoe stacks. A little deeper. Gotta be below us, right? Evan Striker with 20 hit, nice. And technically we're due on the run that they just got that item. Getting knocked down there and loses a lot of time, sadly. Yeah, I think without debuffing, I just... I don't think I could do this. Sadly. Or freeze traps. If freeze traps were there, then it wouldn't matter. Let me do this. 
A little closer to spook the Rappies. By Rappies. Avoid the trap on the left. Pop these boxes. Spam Rafoe. Now I get Foey since they jumped. GG. Yeah, see that? They died instantly with the stacks. Pretty disgusting. Weapon, take that item. Alright, so we went right, then it's left, left, I think. So as long as I'm not first in the room, we should be good. Do a couple of Robardis here into a Gafoe. Yeah, look at that. Instant deletion. But we'll have like one force literally focused on the non-fire based ones and two on fire. That's usually good enough. We have the hunter for killing things like Grand Detonator, maybe Gerda Bulu. When we see ice, that'll be the first things that perish. Let me move back into the middle a little more. An egg, nice. That was a very fast room clear. Uh, so I'm gonna look to save time. I'm gonna separate from the group. When the team goes through the hallway and into the next room, just put a telepipe down and I'll join it. Clear that for the chat. So that way I don't have to do the long walk. I was thinking I was out of range of the trap, and yet it got me again. Uh, so I'm gonna take the, the whoever's warp has it. I don't really care who has it. Wait, what? Why did you put the warp there? <laughs> I feel like I'm getting baited. It's like, wait a minute, that's not anywhere there. We're good. Anyway, team can take my warp later. Let's go back to Kafoe stacking. Yeah, that way we lose minimal clear time here. I think it's left, because we warped? Yeah. And after that it might be right, maybe? Okay, here's where we were Foe to slow them down. So lure them a little bit. Get one Gafoe just in case. In the middle of the room. Oh, he does okay damage. Let the team kill the other ones. Should be big damage. One shot the Rappies. GG. So, yeah, so basically what will happen is somebody will now... Oh, perfect. I think I already did it. So somebody ends up putting a little warp there. You all take it and just take the red warp, which is my warp back. And then uh, you're good to go. I think I got a Rebarda here. There's too many of these. Okay. So I'm going to hit the switch. And I need the team to go first. So I'll spin near it. <laughs> there we go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Oh, Tiki's gonna put a telepipe there. Okay, so we'll take Tiki's warp next time. That'll save us a huge amount of backtrack. The other one's a small time save. This one is a big time save to do.
Well, I hear the Bomberman theme, if this is still the same game. And now that I think it's Final Wave, I just Rafoe. I was gonna say it was like, wait, it was the wrong way. Damn, I knew it was right. I said right, I thought about it, got baited again by the doors. I hate that so much. So sad, chow. I will never remember this path. No matter how many times I do it. Set up a little for the next wave. GG. My stacks were real. I'm gonna put a pedal pipe down. And we'll take Tiki's warp. Tiki is yellow. I'm in Tiki's warp. I'm running. I'm booking it. Oh, my binds are not correct. That's unfortunate. I just noticed a little too late. I'll have to fix that later. Normally I have a... Uh... Oh no, it's there. Never mind. Disregard. I was looking for my heal. I guess maybe I wasn't hitting control deep enough. Oh, a little bit of game lag there. Hello. Do a couple of ripoys to clean it up. Take these. I know that this is progress. So it's more just like the middle warps. Like the this place is pretty straightforward. I can't really get lost here. So I'll soften them up a little bit. Do a single gafoe since it's chasing me. I don't lose that much time DPSing. Yeah, I'm so Gafoe focused. Should just stack it. For Rabardas, back to Gafoe. Basically a perfect clear. I'll take that. GG to the whole crown. Make sure I hit the switch. I have forgotten to do that a couple times. Check the boxes. So we're almost getting 200 XP a second, which is pretty solid. What's on crystal? I want that. Um, get rid of diamates for that. But sadly, that's the end of the soundtrack. So I guess it kind of paid off. I mean, I like built on crystals. Hoping one of us would have gotten a nice uh, disco. That's fine. This is where Hunter could potentially save a lot of time. Those Goron Detonators are a pain in the butt. So if I have three seals, which I do... Huh? What? Huh? There we go. I don't know why that was being weird with me. Oh, I don't have three seals on me. Never mind. Disregard. Right, since I probably do the least on this wave, let me ignore this for a bit to... Uh... Go to this one. Wario Blast. Let's start with Pocket Bomber Man first, I guess. Sad cutlery, that's sad. So yeah, I think had I been participating, we could have had like 200 XP per second towards the end there. Yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good rate of XP. That thing before it runs. Eh, I'll take the warp. Let's put away some items. I have too many on this character. Get rid of this. Get away these.
So overall we're up to 90 drops and 90 eggs. So almost managed to get 100 during the event. It's kind of nice. Be right back, Gamba. Drop the gun here that I don't need. So yeah, we'll do a couple more of these. It's pretty fast XP. And then we'll probably end with the TTF. Kamui, nice. The Kamui is real. I mean, that's like the that's like the perfect amount for Hugh Casil. She doesn't need more for most of the targets of multiplayer, unless you're doing like super deep episode two or something crazy with it. Otherwise, episode four, she shuts it down with them. Oh, my bad. For some reason, I thought I was thinking Kunai when that said Kamui. This we're going. Okay, I think we're good to go. I was gonna say, what Bomberman games that I have on the Game Boy? Pocket Bomberman was definitely one of them. Um. Hmm. 50 hit Berserk Glaive, there you go. Those are surprisingly useful on Endless. It's a good alternative to charge. Damn, Tiggy and I just alternating. The alternation was real. Looking for big damage here. wrong. That felt wrong. I was like, wait, it's right first. Damn. I'm never gonna get the quest right before it leaves RBR. It's so sad. Just every time. I think if it didn't have so many teleports, I would just remember it better. So unless I'm like literally staring at the map and drawing on it, I just don't remember. Because all the rooms look the same to me. <laughs> not gonna lie to you at all. So just like, where I am on the map is slightly different, but we teleport. Get this for later. Oh, and they got spooked. Tiki rescuing that poor item. Yeah, like, the rooms, like, I'm so used to doing other quests, so, like, I will just autopilot towards rooms that look familiar to ones that I've done a lot more than this quest. I'm like, wait a minute. And then if I'm also adding in being tired and changing music, I lose track of where I am in my room order. So I'm like... 50-50 most of the time. There's a couple of rooms I'll recognize are middle, and that's about it. Just like the first three rooms I get really confused with. Yeah, since I already missed the right, it should be left, left, right, left? Yeah, let me get in and go a little more. Since I'm not deep enough, let's for Foey. a little bit. Foey again. So yeah, we got some nice stack damage there. He's jumping, so I have no reason to knock a Foey. Nicely done. 
before. I find it really weird that they put warps to go to, like, the different rooms. But they don't bother warping you back to the main room. Quest design. Buy all those Marissas. Like, I remember this one was middle, so it's just kind of like, if I see this that specific room, I'll be like, okay. I got bodied. Okay, Tiki's gonna go telepipe, that's fair. I'm gonna debuff, so that way they let me cast Kifoe faster, potentially. Need to Ryuker for Tiki. Never mind, Tiki's already here. Disregard. <laughs> we'll do that later, then. Tiki material. Do I pick that up? Devil's Ray Gun, sadly no hit. I was gonna say, I think it's I, th I think it's right, left, left. Left, right? I don't know. I'm second guessing again. Center is somewhere in there. Whenever I see the room, I know to go center, but otherwise it's like question mark. We go down for sure here, no matter what. Or HP material. Might as well as at least between waves do at least one Gafoe to speed it up. I'm gonna hit this, then I'm gonna Ryuker, then I'm gonna take Tiki's Telepipe. Tiki's color is green, so I'm gonna take the green. Nice. Then since I'm here first, I might as well as Ryuker again, because it's funny. I guess if Team wants to take mine, that's also fine. Take those boxes. Since they're jumping, we need to get Foey. We're just not gonna hit them more than once. Only want to safety get Foey here. Okay, damage there. Let's get a little closer for the next wave. And switch to probably Rivarda here. Nope, nope, nope. As soon as I saw the door, I was like, damn. So it's left the first time we warp, right after we warp. At least I saw that door and knew it was wrong. Once I, once I see that, I know it's wrong. But the problem is, like, I can't see the status of whether we've been in that room before. And I think the problem with that, again, is because we teleport all over the place. So I lose track of, like, am I going to the bottom right, or up, or, like, upper left? It depends on where you are in the map. So team at least will be able to take my warp back. So I'll hit the switch and team can just make a telepipe. Oh, Gito 1975, I want that. But 
tell if I'm down since I don't see Murphy. There we go. Not much damage. They died nearly instantly. Part of the last wave. Or foe of this wave. Tied some lingering gefoes, which is all we really need there. Fortunately, this one is more straightforward, because at least once you're past the warps, it's pretty much just like go forward and you'll escape. There's nothing to really second guess about the room. And then the way forward for here has a switch. So like these final like three rooms are not bad at all because they have a good visual cue. The others, I'm like, mmm. If you could zoom out the minimap in the upper right, oh my gosh. It'd be actually monstrous for this quest. I would never get confused ever again. Because I would see what the door is. Stutter. That was interesting. Just 10%, please. I'm hoping for a Heaven Striker with some hit percentage. But looking like it's not meant to be. Yeah, we might reserve some more RBR runs later tomorrow. I don't think I have any family- yeah, I did confirm, there's no family plans tomorrow. So, it's probably gonna be PSO, until I feel like not playing PSO. Where the event ends, whichever. Goodbye, Gurdibulu. Take my own telepipe out of there. Yeah, I guess we'll do one CTF to end the night. So we've been going strong for a while. Now I should have three add-ups back in here, right? Good, okay. Now I'm back up to where I want to be. So I have characters that mostly can always equip their V801, which is good. So I, I want my main forces to have them. My side ones not having it is fine. But there's certain characters I just want to get up and go with them. Like Dumpling is one of them. Waluigi. Any of my 180 plus forces. So I guess I'll host the Sky ID TTF just to give the Hugh cast some love. He does need XP. <laughs> I was gonna say, you, you know what character has not received love during the Easter event chat? I think we all we all know deep down. If you had to name what character I have not leveled at all during this event, I think everybody knows. Oh, I don't think that character's even gained one XP from where they were like a month ago. Rip the unloved character class. <laughs> There's still 25 hours. That should tell you something. Like 117, 119, 25. It's definitely the Umar. I think I played as almost everybody else except for like literally my level 1 character. Who we're saving for a special occasion. I guess also technically you could cheat and say my green phone human. Or Viridian, I mean. 
You can win on a technicality. I just don't... I just don't have the... <laughs> I just don't feel like leveling him. Um... I got red handgun. This is probably okay. I basically just want to make sure I can freeze trap. That's all I'm looking to do. Oh damn, the serious Tiki character's here. Are you quoting a song or something, Murphy? I don't know what that's from or what the song is about. We don't have Dark Flow, but our backup plan is we kill everything immediately anyway, and it doesn't matter. Get a couple of free kills. Oh, HP material. I have to go back for that. Oh, I don't have a. S no, I have a slicer. I was gonna say, wait a minute. I forgot. He's not using a Berserk slicer. He's using, uh. Technically using a Discovery Man. Photon Drop. My bad. I went back for the material. It's mostly not worth, but... HP materials do add up over time. Feels like we're in the credits of the game. Rip Dango. We hardly knew thee. The dragon head just goes to sleep and kills the player. Already dead. Ooh, already dead. GG. Chat doing their best Fist of the North Star impression. Dragon just shouts Nani and it head explodes. Dragon's Claw. Are you even worth anything? I don't remember. Egg from Dragon? Nice. Sadly, I didn't get to have that happen to me. I would love to get it on Dragon. Maybe one day. You know what? I'll slime dupe. I got nothing better to do. Even though I don't think the slime is worth it. Maybe I'll get a stupid PD or something from it. It's not quite red ID slime split. But it would be funny. Am I gonna kill the Boma? I was gonna say. Am I actually gonna kill something legitimately with Fire Trap? See? Tiki ended up getting a uh, egg out of it. If he died for the question. I mean, I'm gonna let chat kill what they need to kill. I recommend chat probably clears the front room. I'm assuming either dragon or something like that could be good. I know we'll eventually get uh, potentially red sword chances from something here, but I need to cross check what enemy that's specifically on. In the meantime, I'll slime dupe because it's funny. Yes, give me more rare chances. Yes, generate beautiful PDs for the chat. Uh, evade material, a little disappointing. still seven more songs. I was getting ready to switch the album. Oops. Well, anyway, I've decided it is now Jaya time. Goodbye, boss. Welcome to Jaya Claw. 
Oh. I saw my crit in there, chat. I saw my crit. <laughs> Goodbye, 6k HP. Jaya doesn't care what you want. What a beautiful item. Was that the track trap graphics spawning in the spawn zone instead of where it was actually placed? It was weird. So I think Tiki confused them, but I saw the trap from the door, but it was near my head. Unless he accidentally confused trap in there. Time is money, so he's looking to withdraw. Something like that. Yeah, sl sadly I have no twin blades for this boss. This is what truly holds him back, honestly. From just doing multiplayer all the time. But just to end the stream, it's okay. Doing like five in a row, I would just feel bad. Great free strap placement. Love it. I'm assuming Sky ID does not give anything. Sky ID gives... Nothing. I think Barans can drop something. I think we talked about this before. This might be the Sincesta item or something. I do want to properly learn what items it gives. I have no reason to not kill the Gilchicks here because they're in my way. Yeah, they do drop Sincesta, so those are the only things worth killing. I'm gonna hope Team can do something against this boss. Like Tiki has a uh, Dark Flow or Twin Blaze or something, because I'm not stun locking with this character. I'll slow down with Red Handgun though. Maybe. There we go. I'm to disco brave man my brains out. If I get a dark flow in this character, the disco combination of being able to throw it at the screen to drain health is kind of nice. Let's see if I get trolled. Oh, I got trolled. <laughs> so sad. I just wanted to see my DPS. And instead I just immediately got targeted. Rip me. We'll go back for that HP material. Guess if I do this, I could just kill my Black King bar, right? Oh, well. <laughs> well, well, now I definitely don't need to do that. <laughs> Disregard. I think he just went, no. Inefficiency. I got out attack there. That's so awkward. I make them melee each other in penance. Now the soundtrack is over. There we go. I'm with Tiki now. Operation Delita Indie Belra. Let Tiki go. Put a couple free straps down. Put on a new soundtrack. Nice dark flow. See it. Uh, I know they get Swordsman War from Del Sabers, which don't really exist. Del Ds give Lavis Cannon? I guess I should actually kill them on Sky ID. 
don't think the Chaos Bringer is worth it. Yeah, I don't really want Meteor Cudgel. So I guess that's the small adjustment for it. Let me just change the soundtrack one second. So that'll be my adjustment. So they're probably the only people that super care about the Del D and the TTF run and the IDs we do. So that's a little different. But hey, we still get Psycho 1 from Sorcerer. I guess that works. Yeah, I don't have to use Dark Flow here, so I can face tank all I want while tired. Red Hand Gun should still single shot kill. Because Hugh broken. Yeah. So I technically have my weapon for the boss. Oh, I forgot to equip Charge Ray Gun again. That was kind of a my bad. I just realized I never did that after I remembered I forgot it. Whoops. Oh well. I'll probably do that right after this run, so that I could just keep it on him. Although, honestly, the red handgun by itself is fine. Let's get a little closer to the boss. Stay over here-ish, maybe. There we go. So it is really funny Hugh Cass can just delete it with red handgun. Kinda nice. <laughs> I think I saw my Vulcan shot coming from off screen. It was like supporting fire! The deletion was coming. I dare you to stand still here. Oh, you're so done. You're so absolutely done. Me and Tiggy can hit the delete button on you. <laughs> Tiggy did the swing and I'm just like, brah. <laughs> that was big damage. Goodbye. Come on, there's a Humar, two Hugh casts, it's over. All the ATP has arrived. Oh, I got the triple shot out. Nice, I did it right. Oh, there we go. I think I think Murphy got the kill there. Force tech for the win. We don't care if you short cycle here. Goodbye. Big damage. <laughs> TTF done quick. See, everybody's looking at Tiggy. I like that. <laughs> They're like, man, what, what kind of DPS is he packing? Fireball. Fireball, pretty much. Like, geez, Tiggy. Ooh, sub 12. Love to see that. There you go. I can't wait till my ATP is actually capped. And I also have Twin Blaze. <laughs> oh, Hugh Cast, you're kind of fun to use in multiplayer. Single player, you're fine. Maybe in hot. Once we get Red Ring, I think some things will be resolved. S parts definitely helps with that uh, feel. Damn, that was so fast. Okay, we're gonna feed this thing star atomizers. <laughs> Body blocked by the person in the middle of the path. See, so yeah, I think we'll take a break here. And we'll continue tomorrow morning, maybe. Assuming it's still active. 25 hit club, nothing of interest. Yeah, I think with the 50 hit vice, I think he's just kind of like good enough at multiplayer. Like his his only real big weakness at this point is uh, Volt Op Phase 1. His Disco Brain Man deletes everything. My money is event ending <laughs> weekly reset. Maybe. It's possible they'll do it at the same time. I hope so. It would be amazing if they finally automated it. There we go. So yeah, we only lost 8,000 Meseta. 
because we, we use Jaya to delete the boss. But I mean, when you have a 45 hit Jaya, you just kind of... It's kind of kind of do it. Automation, that's too much work. It's a good one, I like that. Okay, we have this very subpar Black King bar. I'm pretty sure this is one, like, I didn't know what I was doing with items, and I just kind of used it arbitrarily. But the 20% dark is still nice. I think it was like I just got one of the component items without spending it, and I'm like, oh, you know, if I regret it, I'll just make another one. Then I saw how much it costs, and I was like, oh. Probably shouldn't have used it on that, but that's fine. Rip not putting that on hit percentage. Yeah, otherwise, you know, Smart Link, Heavenly Arms, Heavenly Ability. Pretty solid. It's got Nidra. Yeah, I think tomorrow maybe we'll focus on runs with him. I don't think there's any Sky ID underground that's worth doing, unfortunately. So yeah, apparently do actually killing Del D in there is interesting. Is it gonna only really think of blue ID that cares about Del D's? Most most people just don't care. Like they just drop literally nothing of interest. Aside from that. Unless you're really farming Heavenly Battle on Orange or something. So let's see. Let's check out their rares real quick in episode four. Let's refresh our memory. So aside from surface. Oof. Yeah, I don't think their underground is worth doing. Unless I really want a Liberta kit. Like, I'm not going to do it for Chainsword or Black Adoshi Red Nemodel or Flamberge or even Blue Adoshi Violet Nemodel. I find that it's so much easier to get on other IDs. Um, Heart of Laconium. I'm really not going to grind for St. Million for a co cosmetic. Yeah, meanwhile, if you're just doing, like, literally Dwarf on Surface, you get Blue Hidoshi Nevadows if it's a Claire. That's why I don't bother doing the other hunts. Oh, well. Such is life, I suppose. Flesh chat. So, I think today's stream went mostly well, aside from some crashes, including one from PSO. One from, uh, OBS. So we're gonna be, I think completely doing a fresh install. Hopefully it stops doing whatever it's doing. So that way we can have more uh, focus on the game itself. But aside from that, I had fun with the runs. Hopefully chat did too. But it's time to get some rest for the morning stream. So thank you all to that attended. Thank you all for watching. And I guess if you're watching from YouTube, you can ask Blue Donna why, because we'll tell him the answer later. But for now, I guess hope to see you again in the next part, question mark?